Hey guys, welcome to another grip training and boxing training video. Today is a combination of the of, uh, um, of them two, and what I want to show you is an exercise which is not so common in the grip sports community to really strengthen your grip, because most of them think it's like only combat sports related, but it can be used for both grip sports athletes and also for boxers, and. I really uh, dedicate this video for boxers on the one hand, but also for, um, or I dedicate this video also to boxers on the one hand, um, and on the other hand to grip sports athletes, because both can really uh, benefit from the content um, of this video, right? So the first thing I want to point out, and that is something that goes to the boxers, right? Um, in boxing, you normally do not really hear much about grip strength, although it is so important for boxers in particular, because we're doing everything with our fists, right? With our hands. So obviously our hands and our forearms need to be strong. And how can you train hands and forearms? Obviously only with grip training, right? So you've seen many, many exercises in this um, playlist that I already put up concerning power lifting and strengthening your grip, right? But there is, a, there is an exercise which is a bit more related to the actual movement you're doing in boxing and can also help you improve your grip. What do I mean by that? Well, first, let's take a look at what you need to do in boxing, right? In boxing, obviously, you need to punch, right? If you're not throwing an uppercut like that, or if you're not throwing a hook like that, you always punch like that. But nevertheless, even if you throw an uppercut or if you throw a hook, it's always the same. What you need is a strong wrist because the wrist is the connection between your hand, forearm, and the shoulder. And we all know by rotating, we get the power from the ground from our legs into our shoulder and finally unleash the blow, right? That's how we, how we land a power shot in boxing. And in order for you to really deliver all that power without hurting yourself, you need to have a very, very strong grip. And that is obviously um, especially important if you're training with a real tight and heavy bag like that. So if I want to unleash my full force, like that, and I don't want to hurt myself. Well, obviously my hand and my wrist need to be strong, especially if you're doing it bare knuckle, okay? Especially then. And what I want to show you today is a, is a bare knuckle exercise you can use uh, to strengthen your knuckles, your wrist, your forearm, and everything else, right? So, what is this exercise? It's an exercise um, from karate so I always research myself and look over my own my own uh, well sport to find out something that benefits me in the sports I'm actually performing myself so boxing and grip sports right and we have to keep in mind one thing bones are always stronger than muscles okay bones are always stronger than muscles that is important to know for grip athletes, but also for boxers. So the first thing, the first thing we have to do today is warm up our forearms and hands, right? That's the first thing we have to do. Looks a bit funny, right? Like, like those, uh, those child exercises you did when you were in, in a kindergarten, for example, right? So, so just to get yourself warm, you're doing a bit like that, putting them out, upwards, and so on, okay? So just to make sure you're getting warm. And then the second thing we do is we're using a Chinese massage oil. It's not very pricey. I mean, right now with the situation we have in the world, you probably won't get it very soon, but it's not very pricey and you get, I think, yeah, 10 or 12 of these bottles uh, through Amazon for only, I think, how much did I pay? Maybe 15 bucks or something like that, right? 
and you're using this Chinese massage oil not just to make um, or to, 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 let your, to let your girlfriend have a nice time <laughs> it's not only massa for massaging your partner but it's actually there to increase the blood circulation in the area we want to train and keep in mind for us boxers the hand and also for grip athletes of course the hand is very sensitive and you have to um, are very sensible and you have to make sure that you do not really hurt it right so what we do first of all we rub it we massage our hands get a slight coat on on really each thumb and all the nails and everything we massage it a bit right then we move over to our forearms so that's everything that's really something I saw karate masters do and therefore I highly I highly uh, recommend doing this as well get our forearms nice and soft because for this exercise in particular it is important that we do not um, uh, tear the skin before the exercise is finished and you might tear it at the very end of the exercise but then you've already done your workout right and that is a workout for for boxes I would say you could perform like maybe maybe 10 times in a year not too much because you don't want to get arthritis and you probably will know what I'm going to do right now so just slap your forearms a bit from each side it might hurt a little bit but that's just to increase the blood circulation right you really want to get those forearms warmed up okay you shouldn't punch um, that hard that you break your bones, but it should really get everything nice and warm. And as I said, this massage oil helps to stimulate the blood circulation, right? Okay, so now we're warmed up. And what we're gonna do now is we're using here punching pad okay this is filled it's a kung fu pad but also used in karate for example and it's filled with gravel so with small stones right and what we do is we really punch the back bare, bare handed so bare knuckle but of course not with your full force so please even with all the oil and everything you did please don't use your full force uh, it's there for uh, it's there for conditioning your knuckles and your head and your forearms it's not there to break them right it's not that to, to break them it's there to create minor um, uh, micro fra fractures in your bones because micro fractures in your bones means that the bone will heal after let's say two to three days and will get stronger and stronger so implement this into your boxing training but don't do it like don't do it every week because in boxing we are of course using boxing gloves, right? Still do it to prevent yourself from injury and also to get a harder punch. So without further, further ado, I think I have been talking now for about eight, no nine minutes actually. I would say we start, right? And don't be afraid, right? Just punch like that. Punch like that for five no I would say for, for up to ten minutes right you can also change the angle right and if you feel like you are warmed up you can of course increase the speed and also the power but never ever use your full force this is there for conditioning your knuckles right and not for breaking them If you want to have a little bit more fun, you can of course also snap or hit the pad like that or with your hand simply like that. But I would really recommend that you do it most of the time with your real fist, okay? Because that's the way you're allowed to hit in boxing and nothing else. 
So I feel like my hands are getting warmer, okay? So I'm going to increase the speed. you have a strong nose twist, right? And pay attention to the fact that you want to stabilize, right? You want to stabilize the wrist. Like imagine, imagine you are in a street fight and you have no gloves to protect you, right? So what you have to do then is, of course, you have to pay attention to the fact that your wrist needs to be stable. And in order for that, to be the case, you have to grip a real hard fist, right? Like you really want to crush something in your hands. Think about crushing a potato, crushing an orange. Think about like crushing anything in your hands to make sure that you have a strong grip, right? And now some of you grip athletes might, might think, okay, why is this guy really thinking this helps me in grip sports. Well, as I said, think about crushing something big in your hand and while, while, while training your endurance, your grip endurance, it's also training your, your overall crushing grip strength. And why is that the case? Well, because we're now strengthening the bones. And what, what, did, I see, see, uh, what did I say previously? I previously said bones are stronger than muscles. So the chance that you might be able to crush the next gripper, the next highest gripper you're not able to close right now, might be able to close or might be able to close for you after a couple of sessions of these, right? And I would really say don't do it that much in a year, not as much as karate people do it not as much as Kung Fu guys because you don't want to have arthritis like these guys have when they get older but if you do it once in a while it's perfectly fine and you won't have any joint problems but of course if you do it on a daily or a two day basis uh, you will end up having joint problems when you're older so use this exercise as a perfect accessory work for your grip strength and for your boxing but don't do it each and every week right i said about 10 times a year is perfectly fine but not more than that so now when you're really warmed up you can of course increase the punching power, but see, when I punched too hard, my wrist bent like that. So that means I was still not really able to punch like that bare knuckle, which means I, I have to improve my grip overall, okay? And I have to improve my grip while punching, which means I have to continue doing this exercise 10 times a year for maybe the rest of my life if I want to, right? And of course other grip training methods like using hand grippers, doing deadlifts, barbell holds, wrist extensions, wrist flexions with the hammer for example, or with those one-sided dumbbells, Shown, I've shown you in the previous video. So, grip is really important, right? So now I'm concentrating, I'm really concentrating on keeping the wrist stable.
And of course, pay, <laughs> pay uh, attention to the fact that you don't want to hit the balls, of course. Because then something like this might happen if you don't pay attention to it. Okay? So here we go. A few more minutes. A few more minutes. It's also, it's also a bit of conditioning. So stamina training, not only conditioning for your for your knuckles and your wrist. And of course, when it starts to hurt, then stop, okay? So first of course, decrease the punching power and the speed. And if it hurts too badly, like it is doing right now, then you should stop, right? And you see, all my knuckles are red. They are really on fire, as you can see. But nothing actually happened to my skin. And that is because of the oil. And after finishing this exercise is, uh, what you do after finishing this exercise is, you're doing it once again, you're putting the oil for recovery now over your knuckles, over your hand and the wrist. The forearms do not really hurt that much, but maybe you want to put something on your elbow too, right? So the wrist and the hand are really the, the ones that hurt the most. I put something on my elbow here. So please don't start doing that without this Chinese massage oil. And why do I use the Chinese one? The reason being is because it has ginger and lemon and lemon grass maybe even. Let me see what's on the package. So definitely ginger as you can see, right? That's by the way the package. So if you see this package on Amazon for example, you might know what to do, what to use. So there's ginger but there's also definitely lemon or lemon grass in there, um, which I can tell simply by the, by the smell of this. Uh, oil and it smells really good it smells really good so it's also nice it's uh, it's comfortable it's really comfortable so now I massage everything right especially here over my knuckles and that's about it guys that's one exercise you can perfectly do as a boxer which you should do as a boxer and also as a as a, as a grip athlete right and see I'm personally 100% convinced that boxing is the best combat sports in terms of striking, right? In terms of striking, there's no better sport than boxing because the only thing you do in boxing is really strike, right? So you're using your hands all the time, the whole, uh, your whole life, and of course you have a harder punch than any other martial artist in any other uh, combat sport, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that we know everything and that we should only concentrate like on the old school uh, training methods because the old school training methods are perfectly fine and good and and uh, necessary but you can always find out something new and if you see uh, karateka for example use this method to condition their knuckles right why not use it as a boxer too it, only, it will only make us stronger in striking. So, always be open-minded, guys. Do your research if you're really interested in something. Find out as many information as you can and never stop learning. So this is something I really wanted to show you, I wanted to spread because there, is, there are only very few people who really know this exercise and who think this exercise is suitable for boxing, okay? So yeah, there we have it and see you the next time. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if so and please share it as well. Okay, see you.